in a world where hopium and common sense collide. Starring the Crypto Keeper and Blockchain Crusader. Welcome to Debate Crypto. Tell me a price prediction that you would have a bearish and a bullish price prediction. You ready for this? 2030. I want a bearish and a bullish. Listen, guys, we all know we're all speculating, okay? So if anybody comes at us in the comments and says that 10 years from now that we were wrong, hey, you can shove it, okay? <laughs> Miguel, start us off. I want, I want to hear what you what you got. Yeah, so I think bullish, I think we're, we're north of a million dollars with Bitcoin. Okay. Easy uh, okay. for 2030. I think okay. bearish will honestly be 500K tops for Bitcoin. Ooh. Okay. That would be my bearish scenario for Bitcoin by 2030. Give me ETH too. Give me ETH too. Ooh, ETH. So if we're if we're north of a million dollars by 2030, I think ETH will be somewhere in the range of maybe 80 to maybe 100K, depending yeah. how high Bitcoin goes. And bearish would probably be somewhere in the 40 to 50K. Okay. What you got, Alex? All right. Um, I'm a little bit more bullish than Miguel on that. Okay. So I'm just I like trying to, hear, to think. I like, I like that. All right, yeah, we do right. like that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to flirt with a million dollars next cycle. So 2025, oh, wow. um, sorry, 2029 would That's be, what I, like to hear. I think, about two and a half million. But then 2030 Ooh. would be sometime in the bear market. Well, so I so, meant 2029. I meant, I'm, okay. that's, that's, I, I, I forgot that it hits at 2029. Yeah, so 2029 sure. is what I meant. Yeah, yeah 2028, 2029. Yeah, yeah, it would be 2029, yeah. yeah. Uh, in 2030, now that I think about it, I mean, January of 2030 it might be when when it, when it peaks or February, March, April. Right, so right, right, right. It right, doesn't right. matter. But yeah, two and a half million then. Two and a half million for Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum bullish would be depending on um, on ETH 2.0 if they can get that launched. I mean, mm -hmm. it, but then EIP 1559, just how deflationary will ETH become? That That's the question with, yeah, they, with those two factors in mind that bullish. I mean, I could see it being half of half of Bitcoin's price. I do believe that a, a, a flipping will happen. And, you know, Ethereum's at 120 million supply right now. What if that went down to... 60 million it, it really could um by that time so three times as much ethereum as bitcoin but bigger market cap would put okay. it around half of bitcoin's price bearish none of this stuff happens eth 2.0 doesn't happen um they're just proof of work the the entire way through i'd say maybe about a tenth so no not maybe even less than a tenth i don't know maybe 100 200 000, something like that so so you're saying your bearish prediction on uh, on ETH is a, is a hundred is a hundred k? I'll say a hundred uh, at that yep. point. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I'll give mine real quick. Uh, man, I I I, <laughs> I guess you guys are gonna hate me. Um, I, I and let me explain this real quick. The reason that you will hear uh, me give more bearish type predictions, it is not that I'm a bear. It is my it is my my mind. Here's what my mind tells me. My mind tells me. Nick, if you believe that something is going up here, but you tell yourself that it's going to be here because so if it's something I can't physically control, if it's my business, if it's anything to do with my family, whatever, we're going to the moon, baby, let's get it. And I can control that when it comes to Bitcoin, when it comes to Ethereum, something that I can't control, my mind works better. If I take what I hope and cut the hopium off and say, hey, I think we're going here. And then if we go here, great. It's just a little bit easier for me to process. So I think that 2030, my bullish prediction on Bitcoin uh, is about 750 to a million. All right. Probably more towards the the, the million. That's my bullish uh, a million. And then my bearish is 250. Uh, and I think that the 250 would be, uh, and that's a really low number compared to what most people are, are thinking, but the, the bearish scenario uh, involves a lot of chaos uh, as a result of worldwide economics. Okay, for ETH, uh, ETH's my girlfriend. She's over here on my uh, left hand shoulder over here, and uh, uh, I think I'm I'm much more bullish on ETH than I am Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin will uh, kind of sizzle out a little bit at some point, and and I don't mean sizzle out, but I more mean like uh, 
just kind of become what it is like digital gold, where I think ETH is going to continue to get built on, built on, built on. So my bullish prediction for ETH, if they're able to work out some of these gas fee problems, which I think will be huge, right? My bullish prediction for ETH in 2030 is about 150K. And my bearish prediction for 2030 is going to be about 30 or 40K. Um, again, these are all these are all speculation, guys. Um, yeah. But they're uh, they're fun. They're fun speculation to have.